who doesn't like getting parcels, can't wait to open these because I know that must be a golf club inside it. So that one is from, that one's from TaylorMade. Don't know who that one's from. This one, unfortunately we can't deliver your parcel because there is a fee to pay. So get this one. I've got to go and collect that one from the post office and pay a fee. Who would possibly send me a parcel? And then I've got to pay for the delivery. Ooh, tailor made, delivered by hand as well. Look at that. P792 iron. I like that. You cannot beat the service of tailor made, can you? Not quite as exciting LED studio light. That's to make me look a little bit better than I do. That's what it said in the information anyway. I believe anything. Now I want you to be honest with me. Do I look better in this light? Not that honest. So that just leaves uh, the puzzle behind this one. I'll tell you what, I'll go and collect it. I'll be back in two seconds. Perfect, thank you, Chip. Interesting. This one's from America. Who can this be from? Oh no, hang on a minute. You can't serve extradition papers through the post, can you? And that was in the 90s, and I've already said on numerous occasions that was not me. Right, who can this be from? We've got a note with this one, dear Andy. This is better than a drone, I win, and it's signed by Randy of Fried Eggs Golf. There you go. Oh, a few notes on the back. Andy, as you know, I am a massive fan of your channel, and I know you are busy working on your own shit right now, but will you please, please, please reconsider and do a collab video with me? Please do not read this out loud. Okay, so what is in the envelope? The big reveal. It is my flag from the Masters. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Randy. I genuinely appreciate that. I have not been to the Masters ever. You have been twice, which I'm extremely jealous of, but I'm really delighted that you've sent me this over. Honestly, great gesture. I knew that, just uh, let's get the joking bit sorted out because I knew Randy had asked for uh, an address. I knew there was something coming in the post, so I obviously knew that was from him. There was no fee to be paid that was me having a little bit of a, a gag at randy's expense i'm really grateful for you to sending it over um i think it's brilliant that f however it works we've developed a kind of a rapport a friendship whatever you want to call it over youtube i love having a bit of banter uh, with a few comments on your channel and also uh with scuba steve as well who uh, i just think is great and hopefully one day um our paths will cross Maybe on a golf course, great four ball. Uh, me and Sid, who's my dad, um, and yourself and Scuba Steve, aka your dad, and uh, we can have a game of golf. That would be really, really good at some point. Anyway, I better get back to some serious stuff, I think. Actually, let's not get too serious too soon. My mate Ben downstairs, he's filming with a production team from Channel 4 at the moment. They're right in the thick of it. I'm gonna send him a text and tell him there's something urgent that he's gotta get himself upstairs for. Thanks, man. What? Look what I got from Randy. Where am I looking? Behind you. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah? What do you mean? Where's he had that from? He's nicked it off the nicked court? It. Yeah. He's mad, isn't he? I thought the English were bad. <laughs> okay, so before we go any further, update on the Taggers target board. As you can see, it is ever growing. Or the target wall, as it's now called, because the uh, the board, they were just not big enough. So, a couple of changes, apart from the fact I've added lots of you out there. What I will ask, if you can try and spot yourself, I will do a bit of a scan over this shortly. It's obviously very, very difficult for me to pick out when there's a handicap adjustment exactly where you are on the wall that's my own problem but what i'll do i'm going to scan over the wall 
and when hopefully fingers crossed you get handicap adjustment and you inform me of it just tell me exactly where you're positioned so if you say center left right lower right that kind of thing at least it gives me a guide and the bigger this wall gets obviously the harder it's going to become to find people but anyway charles malay i hope i said that right he's now down to 18.3 um his target for 15. Uh, we've got Alan MM63. He's from Twitter. He's got down to eight. I think that was from ten uh, in his target to reach five. We've got Becky O'Grady. Incredible, three point nine down to three point six, and a target for the year is three. Um, was that it? Have I missed anybody? They're all where we see a little bit of white on there, which highlights who's made the move. So that's the moves for this week. Brilliant. Well done to you three. Everybody else keep on going, keep on remembering that target and let me know as soon as you make any adjustments. Okay, back to some serious stuff for a minute then. And uh, I want to talk about um, this week, just unboxed early this two iron, or it's called, what do they call it, UDI, um, which utility distance iron, I don't know, I don't know what the D stands for, but uh, if I can get the wrapper off, we'll have a closer look. The P790 range from Taylor Made, I mean, it did extremely well. I, I hear about the amount of sets that are being sold in, in Four Golf. A lot of people I speak to have been very impressed with the P790, uh, a foam injected um, forged head. And I must admit, when I test them, I've got the sort of, uh, what have I got? Six, five, and four iron in my bag. I've got a bit of a blend at the moment. And I'm a massive fan of uh, longer irons and this utility iron but the interesting thing for me and um, I hit I was a, I loved the uh, Callaway UT iron forge which they brought out from the X forge range uh, in the last couple of months uh, the difference is with the UDI is they've put a graphite shaft in it and um, comes as standard it's uh, hazardous project X I've got it in the stiff they're all low spinning models um, the loft again on this two iron is 17 degrees 40 inch length of shaft and potentially it's a club that would appeal to me like i said um i like the long driving irons i always look at them and i doubt whether or not um i have the the capability i'm at the level to use this kind of iron but what i found of late and i'm not at the p790 version yet um like with most of the modern clubs, um, there's more forgiveness than there used to be. So it's a far cry from a two iron that I sort of immediately register in the brain. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna play, I'm playing this afternoon in a Thursday roll up and uh, oh, it's competition. I'm gonna pretty much uh, stick this in the bag and we'll have a little bit of a go of it because it's perfect for my golf club at uh, Hesel. In the summer months, the fairways get absolutely bone dry, rock hard, and it's all about there finding the fairway. And if you do, the ball can run an extra 30, 40 yards. It's very much like links type terrain. So for me, that and the, the other thing that um, applies at Heswell is the strong winds that you're exposed to on the estuary. So once again, nice low ball flight, two iron, it's in fairways. It's the perfect club for around Heswell or at least in theory it is, but I'll be giving that a go and I'll report back, I'll do a full review on course and get some dry ball data as well in the months ahead. Okay, so the next club I wanna talk about this week is the putter and um, you should have, I think I've released a video already as to why I chose this putter, which is uh, it's from TaylorMade. Let's have a little bit of a, see if we can get a close up on that. Can we get that in focus? Mm, struggling a bit, there you go. Right, so it's the, uh, it's TP collection. Uh, it is the black copper, as they call it. It is one of the styles in which um, Rory chose to use in the, in the Masters, which he done uh, very well with for three days, not so well on day four. I did, so what, what I did was I did a video on why I chose that particular putter. Great style putters, uh, in my opinion, obviously, and that's what I talked about, was how um, putters are, are such a personal choice and uh, whether that be looks, feel, how a ball sits, putting style, 
it, it's, it's such a very personal one. It's very difficult. That's why I didn't do it. I didn't review the putter. I simply gave an explanation as how I chose the putter and uh, my opinions on how uh, putters should be perhaps chosen. Not that I'm in a position to tell anybody that, but there you go, it was just an opinion. Um, so they're the two new things that have come out in terms of products. Next week I'm gonna be doing back on the ball testing. I've had um, Project A and Project S golf balls, new for 2018 from Taylor Made. I've had them quite a number of weeks, but I haven't had greens uh, to be able to go and film to see how they respond because everything's been soaking wet. So that's a video that I plan to do next week. And I'm at a different, hopefully anyway that is, I'm trying to get to a different venue, different backdrop. Um, a, a real nice golf course, not a million miles away from me here uh, in Cheshire, have uh, said that I'm able to go and film there and use it as a different backdrop. So it's just a bit of variation from seeing um, Heswell Golf Club all the time. And that's where I'm gonna do some testing, hopefully in the next week or so. Um, one other thing to mention, on the last video I talked about we'd added hoodies and gilets onto the averagegolfer.com website and thank you for everybody who went after that video and bought those items. Really can't uh, believe the amount of support that you're given. It's fantastic. Carrying on running with that discount code which is AVERAGE10, you quote that at the checkout you get 10% discount off your purchase and like I said it is greatly appreciated um, that kind of support. Other than that, that's the end for today's daily-ish vlog. Just remember, this is the video to put your handicap adjustments in. So if you have had any movements in your own personal handicap on the target board, then stick it into this video. And likewise, if you're only new to the video and new to the idea, then give me your name, your current handicap, target handicap, and I will get you added to that board because that wall needs to be filled very, very quickly. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video any comments you have to make then please do so down below and I'll see you soon.